Hello and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be going through the process of making this one. One of my friends asked me if I can make him some background for one of his websites so I thought why don't I just take it and start it as a cloud study. And uh, initially I wanted to make it as a parallax but I wanted to keep it more simple and focus more on the form and the composition rather than just trying to spend a lot more time on doing the parallax effect. So my initial idea was I wanted to have a background of a cloud and a little bit of a valley and create like a, a castle kind of vibe to it and then have um, a giant monster kind of holding its tentacles on the castle. So starting off with the clouds, we just wanted to make it very simple shapes, get all the forms and values to lead your eyes down to the center and make them look very fluffy. So by doing that, I just created a, a round shape brush and I used that to just create the different forms and make them look more like a giant marshmallow kind of going into a microwave and trying to get those the bubbles on the canvas. And next I started working on the castle itself. So I started with the shadow base and I wanted to go into the midtones, but I didn't want to put too much detail because I just don't want to kind of overbear it with so much detail since it's, it's supposed to be not the main focal. Just get your basic shapes in there, get your shadow areas and, and give it a very small amount of detail just to identify the shape. And once you have all the forms, you can add the like minor touches and understand where your light is coming from. And this one is coming from the right side. So I started to put all of my highlights on the right and keep all the shadows on the left side. And one of the biggest challenges of having like a big mass on the canvas is everything kind of start to form together and there is no like hard stop. That's where you can start to play around with the light and shadow and create like a divider. So you can notice like I had like a, an area where there is like a straight line in the horizontal and there is a shadow. That way I kind of like cut down that area into like smaller little pieces and I can work on them. Now I'm working on the octopus and I wanted to make that very red and kind of contrasty because we're using a green background. So complementary color is red so we've just jumped right into that. And I'm just playing around a little bit more with the background. I noticed that it, it looks too green and I just needed to have some kind of a divider in there as well. So I used the blue color to cut that down and help with the composition. And next, working on the Kraken, just adding a little bit more detail to make it stand out and give it a little bit more character. And keeping in mind the direction of the light source and having the shadows a little crisp. So while I'm working on the animation, there is a topic that I wanted to bring up that I think was very important because it really helped me with my journey and helped make my art a lot more focused and a lot better. And the question is, who are you creating the art for? Like who is your audience? Once I kind of asked myself that question, I started to see like a lot of different things have changed. Because before I used to make it a lot for online, I used to try and show my work as much as I can. And part of it is like, you're always chasing trends and I'm trying to see like, what is the next thing that's trying to take the algorithm. At one point, like that becomes more like a job, having a client and it, the client is the algorithm. But once you kind of strip that power away and kind of shift your focus back to making art for yourself, just try and, and make art just for the sake of it. So the only goal that I have from each of the paintings is just to learn something and to improve. Even if I don't have to show it, if I just decided to delete it, it's okay because I'm making that art for myself rather than just trying to you know, please someone else. That was very transformative and really helped with my journey. And let me know in the comments below and ask yourself this question, like who are you making the art for? And read it out loud and see how that would change your perspective. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please leave it a like and a comment to help the channel grow and help me with the algorithm. And if you enjoyed this, you're going to enjoy this one as well. Thank you for watching and remember, just take it one day at a time and I'll see you in the next video.